New York City and the bustling metropolis focuses its attention on the greatest sporting event in years, the challenge for the America's Cup. Down in the canyon-like streets of Manhattan, a simple window display announces to all who pass that Australia is out to win yachting's highest honour. And for those who stop and look, the model of Gretel hardly seems to indicate the effort of years of work which have brought the Aussie lady to Newport. Before meeting America's top 12 metre Weatherly in the first of the seven races to decide the fate of the America's Cup. Newport can hardly contain itself as the defender Weatherly prepares to put out to do battle with Gretel. On Newport Sound, there's near chaos as a huge armada assembles. The United States Coast Guard have trouble controlling the pleasure craft that mill around the start and the destroyer from where President and Mrs. Kennedy watch the classic. A final friendly gesture and they're off. It's the American who gains the advantage at the start as they race towards the first mark. The defender sets a cracking pace and soon shows clear water. The <laughs> Craft managed to keep abreast of the races. And a freshening breeze. At the finish, it's Weatherly who proves the better boat on the day. The defender, with her red top spinnaker billowing, crosses the line three quarters of a mile ahead of Gretel. The Australians are down but not out. With more races to go, they're determined to prove that they've got every chance of bringing the America's Cup down under. <laughs> 